Okay, there are a lot of ways of adding texture in Photoshop. One of the ways is to find free textures like the ones here from Think Design. Um, I've actually added this file in Moodle and it's right here. So go to your unit 2 and you can just click on the link and it'll automatically download EPS files for you. EPS files are great because they're one of the many files that stay live and they actually allow you to um, go without having background so it keeps it transparent which is what this checked background is back here. So I have my marquee tool selected and I'm going to just select around roughly around one of these patterns. I like that one. Um, I really like this one a lot because of the even spacing of the dots and then the subtle uh, way that they actually are getting smaller. So I might actually use it this time around. So I'll select that one and come into our original image. Now that I had this one selected, um, I actually copied it by hitting the hotkey. So Command C or Control C if you're a PC user. Um, or you can go to Edit Copy, Edit Paste. So edit copy and then come in here, edit paste, also known as control V or command V. So I'll paste my pattern in here. I'm going to go up here to edit free transform so we can resize this pattern. I want the dots to actually be a little bit larger and I'm going to have them fade from larger to smaller, starting from the left, moving right since the light looks like it's hitting my doll on the right side. So I'm going to make it pretty good size. And I want this texture to actually overlay the blue area only. So I'm going to come back down here to the um, actual version of this file that is still in multiple pieces. This is why I want to keep it live. So if I make this change, then I can always come back in here. Now that we've learned what colorizing it is, why don't we use it? So I'll use hue and saturation, hit colorize, and I'll colorize these dots. Mm, something fun, maybe purple. Purple is fun. That differentiates it enough from the blue, so we'll do that. I'm going to also kind of line it up a little bit more. Something like that, maybe. And then come into the layer 6. Go select all again with my arrow keys, up one, down one, so it'll click to my selection. And then I can go back to this texture that I just misplaced. Oh, that is it. It doesn't look like it, but that is it. I can go back to this texture and I can make sure my selection is inverted and just hit the backspace key or the delete key to get rid of it. That's one way to add the texture. A little bit more advanced way to do this would have been if I actually had the figure selected only. And it actually might be fun if I, by clicking on like the marquee tool or another selection tool, nudged my selection over some and maybe up some so it changed the placement of the dots instead of it only being on the blue. Very pop art screen printing look. Um, or use my arrow keys to nudge it. I could then come in here to this layer and if you see down here this symbol that looks very much like the mask, quick mask symbol on the left side of your screen is a layer mask. So if I click on that it will actually mask this layer which gives me the option to, by clicking on the link that's right here, click on the icon of the dot layer and move just what's within the mask. 
So I can actually shift this to make it better. Look how cool that is. So there you go. That's how you do some cool Liechtenstein pop art effects. Um, there's so many free textures online. You can just look up vector textures or uh, this is a halftone pattern. That is how actually newspapers are printed. If you look closely, newspapers and um, the photos are done, the printing is done with dots. So this is called a halftone pattern. Um, now that I've done this, I can actually, yeah, let's see what it looks like in other colors. And then I can't wait to see what y'all come up with. So here I'll actually make a new, mm, <laughs> make a new layer of all of those and merge the new layer. Come in here and change my hue and see what it looks like in different colors. That's fun. Look at that with the green. I think this is really fun. So I hope y'all have a whole lot of fun with this demo and with this project and I can't wait to see what y'all turn out. Keep in mind, be creative. Y'all can do just about anything. This is pop art. It's supposed to be a little wild, crazy cool. So have fun with this and don't be shy. Ask me some questions if you've got any for me. Thanks for watching. I hope y'all have a great day.